wealth doesn't come out of nowhere. Instead, rich people are the ones who choose productive habits and mindset that bring them their desired amount of money. You might have heard the phrase, if you're born poor, it's not your fault, but if you die poor, it's your fault. That's right. T. Harv Ecker in his book, Secrets of Millionaire Mind, points out some of the habits that poor people adopt which keep them in the unending cycle of poverty for the rest of their lives. Rich people, on the other hand, think and act differently which bring more wealth to them. We have some takeaways from this book for you that might help you understand the behavior of the rich and the poor. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for almost daily videos for your success or to increase the pace of becoming wealthy fast. Let us start then. Number 1. Rich believe in themselves, poor believe life just happens that way. A stark difference between the rich and the poor is their thinking pattern. Where rich people believe in themselves, poor ones keep blaming fate. Unlike the rich, poor people keep repeating three blunders their entire life. They keep blaming, justifying, and complaining about their life. It's their favorite hobby to blame others for their own actions. Finding fault in others without pointing out problems in themselves is what the poor do mostly. Similarly, they try to justify their poverty by saying that money doesn't matter, or they would simply complain about everything that's not right and it is a fact that what you focus upon expands with time. By complaining about the miserable circumstances, the poor just expand their own issues. Contrarily, the rich take complete responsibility of the financial situation they're in. These people learn from their mistakes and strive to do better. So the next time you hear yourself complaining and justifying your poverty, just think the other way around. Rather than saying, no wonder I'm poor because my parents were poor, correct yourself by saying that you're not like your parents. Besides, there are many self-made millionaires who made their fortunes by starting from scratch and you could be the next one. Number 2. Rich people think big, poor think small. This is another prominent difference between the rich and the poor where the poor people count every penny they can save without realizing the worth of their energies and time, the rich focus on bigger things. Have you ever walked into a supermarket and spent a couple of hours in there just to find a cheaper bag of cereal that can save you a dollar or two? If yes, you should know that that's the very behavior that brings poverty. A rich person would rather think about the value of time. For the rich, losing an hour is not worth saving a dollar or two. Rather, an hour can bring in much more productivity. The contrast in the rich and the poor in this example is of the mindset. It's the poor mentality that keeps people poor their entire life. When you think big, you get big. This is how the universe works for you. If you keep focusing on a meager amount of money, you'll get only a meager amount of income and vice versa. To change your financial situation, start thinking big and abundant. Number 3. Rich promote themselves and their value, the poor think negatively of selling and promoting. You should know that if you don't promote your product or your service, someone else will promote theirs and you'll be left behind. It's interesting how promotion is looked down upon by many due to different reasons. It might be because someone had promoted their products to you in an inappropriate manner like hard selling. This may attach negative feelings towards promotion. Similarly, you may have been totally rejected the last time you tried to sell your services. The associated shame with selling might be the cause of detesting it in the future. Or you might also feel that promoting yourself is a bad idea and the only good thing is to appreciate others rather than blowing your own trumpet. Or in the worst scenario, you might think that you don't need any promotion since you're so good at it that people should just know it already. All these habits can bring down your chances of success and earning a lot of money by selling your services. Rather than feeling reluctant to promote yourself, you should try to get ahead of others who don't make any efforts to make their services known to the world. Following this strategy, you'll build self-confidence that will ultimately help you become rich. This might be your wisest decision towards making success in the future. Number 4. Rich people focus upon opportunities, poor focus upon obstacles. Unlike the rich, all that a poor person thinks is the obstacles in the way of success. For the rich, these challenges are in fact opportunities that can bring them success in the long run. For instance, when a poor person thinks of starting a business, all that he thinks of is the overwhelming competition in the market. This person would be too afraid to make an investment thinking that he would never be able to beat the others. On the other hand, a rich person would acknowledge that there is competition in the market. At the same time, he would think of the ways he could add value to the market by offering new services. This is where the destinies of the rich and poor take different routes. 
If you find yourself focusing too much on the obstacles rather than the opportunities, try to shift your perspective. You might want to follow the advice of wise people who often say, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Putting it simply, try to extract maximum benefits of the opportunities and challenges that life throws at you and you'll find yourself on the winning side. Number 5. Rich people are good at receiving, poor are not. The art of receiving is not as simple as it sounds. Many people believe that they're not good enough to achieve their desired goals. The idea of being unworthy is in their genes, which works as a hurdle in their way toward success. But think of it, what if Cristiano Ronaldo had thought that he wasn't good enough or that he would never be worthy enough to be the best football player in the world? Of course, he wouldn't be in the place that he is today if that had been the case. The same applies to you. Believing in yourself is the key to becoming rich. Try to own your achievements and capabilities. Learn to say thank you when someone compliments you. Don't follow the philosophy that teaches you only to be at the giving end. Since someone would always be at the receiving side, why would you be so proud to let the others feel small? Give and take are both a part of life. Rather than despising the act of receiving, learn to be a good receiver instead. Take what belongs to you, whether a compliment or an opportunity. Only then would you be able to break the cycle of misery. Believe that you're worthy of everything good and you deserve nothing less than the best, and then watch the universe working on your side. Number 6. Rich people admire other rich people, the poor resent them. Often, when poor people see a nice car, they remark out of resentment, oh, what a douchebag, as if being rich was synonymous to being corrupt. We all know that that isn't the case. It's like going to a gym and saying about someone who is in good shape, oh, I wonder how much steroids is he on? Because not everyone who is in good shape takes steroids. The same goes for wealthy people. To earn wealth in your life, start appreciating and admiring the rich people and aspire to be the same one day. Let's admit it, bitching won't bring you any good. Rather, try to be generous in compliments. Don't be jealous of others' success. Instead, work for yourself and become the next one to be rich and successful. It might be possible that the person you're showing resentment for is ethically better than you. Rather than finding faults in others, try to find positive aspects that you can learn from. Only by letting go of your grudge against the rich will help you become a rich person yourself. To sum it up, the ability to become rich or remain poor lies in our actions and mindset. With the right type of attitude, success knocks at your door. As we know, T. Harv Ecker was himself a self-made millionaire. Following his strategies, you might get the same results. All you need to do is get the right temperament and the success is yours. Let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching our video and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. We hope to see you in our next video. Bye for now guys.